Okay, the next tutorial I wanted to go through with you, year seven, is the use of back stitch. Now, in the last one, we just covered a little bit of straight stitch. Now, straight stitch is going to be your W ones, twos, and threes, and then your grade ones. Okay, when you're going on to back stitch, it's a higher skill, so I normally say grade two and above. When you're using a combination of straight back, whipping and cross, depending on how neat they are, will hopefully get you to enter into the grade three, grade four and so on and so forth. So it's not just a case of putting stitches on and hoping for the best, you've got to have the quality there and the combination as well. So I'm going to finish off on this octopus today by doing myself a back stitch. So again with the knot, it's at the end of my thread, I'm going to poke through to the back of this uh, octopus and then make sure that the knot is just secured in there. Now back stitch is one of my more favorite stitches because I tend to find it's quite neat. With a back stitch you go backwards to go forwards. Okay, so if you think about success criteria you want to keep it nice and neat and tidy. So back stitch to go forwards and then you're always filling your gap. So you're going back again and you're poking your needle forwards. Now with this particular stitch I don't have to keep flicking my work over to look at the back of it because I can, can do most of my workings on the front and once you get into the habit of it you can be pretty quick with it as you go around and it does give that really nice and even effect. Once again success criteria year seven think about the size of your stitches you don't want them to be too large you want them to be about half the size of a grain of rice and so on and so forth and just make sure as you are sewing this in that it's not bunching so don't pull too tightly but at the same time don't leave it too loose. Now I normally can identify a back stitch not only by the lack of gaps at the actual front of your work but also the underneath of it because it has a very different appearance at the back as it does normally to the front so you can compare them quite quickly between a back and a straight stitch. So again if I just finish that last stitch off you can see the top of the octopus head there done with the back stitch so it's a much neater alternative than the straight which is down on here and if I turn my work over you can see where it's back stitch just on there so it gets a strange line of chains with long straight stitches and that will be the back of the work and the front of the work would look rather tidy like this one does on here.